The Super Bowl is just days away, and some of DBL Nation might recognize our next <laughs> guest, who is going to give us the inside scoop leading up to the big game. Please welcome New York Post sports anchor and former DBL host, Brandon London. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon, we miss you. First of all, being a daddy looks good on you, and I'm talking about him having a son. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> look at Brandon. No, I should be Jr. smiling. I should be smiling in that photo, but I was just tired from being up all night. <laughs> Jeff, you warned me. Al, you guys warned me what it was going to be like. It's the most amazing feeling in the world, but long nights. Yep. Uh, Diaper changes, diaper rashes, everything. It's, it's just, it's the greatest feeling in the world, I can tell you that. But, uh, you are one of the few guys that I knew, even when you were a single man, you talked about being a dad That's more right. than anybody else I know. So uh, that child is lucky to have you as a father. We were lucky to have you as a co-host and your forever family. So let's get into it, bro. You are in Vegas right awesome. now, B-Lund. Talk to us about the energy and like what's going on around Super Bowl weekend. Well, you guys want to talk about this energy. Right now, I'm on Radio Row, so I'm going to walk around because my the setup that they gave me wasn't visually appealing. No one baby in the corner. So right <laughs> now, you guys are seeing Radio Row. It's I'm talking news publications from all over the world. I mean, just think about how the game of NFL, the, the game of football has just grown internationally. So there's all types of outlets all over. Uh, you see Deion Sanders and his whole entourage wow. in the back. Whoa. Eli Manning, everybody. I mean, you talk ESPN, the Pat McAfee show. The setup here is absolutely phenomenal. And today is the day where the buzz is the craziest, I feel like, heading into the big game on Sunday. Well, let's speak about really the buzz T. Shulman cares about, the T. Hey, Swift. Mwah. T uh, Travis Kelsey and T. Swift. Their relationship has taken over the world. Are the Swifties there in Vegas, uh, Brandon? Well, remember the last time I got myself in trouble talking yes. about those Swifties <laughs> on this exact very <laughs> show? Yes, I do. You know, you see the gray hair and the beard. I've matured a little <laughs> bit. Good for so, you, bro. Swifties, some, some are here. You know, some use their PO days to get here during the week. <laughs> some work from home. They, they've kind of come in here. But honestly, all the fans, all the Chiefs fans that I've talked to, they're so tired of that storyline mm. and tired of that how that's kind of taken over. They their third in five years. They want a back-to-back -back Super Bowl. So I get the entertainment side of things with that storyline, but a lot of the fans are just ready to get to the X's and O's and see guys smash and uh, party and listen to Usher during the halftime show. Yeah. That's right. Good to see <laughs> Good you, my man. friend. So, Brandon, I want to get your personal take, right? We talk about it every single day here, the Travis and Taylor story. You being a former NFL player, you know, having that yep. sense of the locker room, you also report on it. What is What's your analysis of this whole thing? Are you over it and you think once the Super Bowl is over, this will stop, or is this forever? Jeff, I absolutely love it. You guys remember when I was on that show, all I talked about was how I love how get the opportunity to get paid for Travis Kelsey and his personal birth. The man is going to be uh, not only a football icon because of what he's done on the field, but now the eyes that he's getting from dating Taylor Swift, the man's going to be a pop culture icon. Yeah. And then if you think about it, I know everyone's getting tired of the cutaway and all the before they go to commercial, you see Taylor Swift. Remember, this woman has brought in over 300 Billion dollars of extra <laughs> revenue. The NFLPA negotiated in the collective bargaining agreement that players touch at least 48% of that money. Wow. So when I see, every time you see Taylor Swift, this game, you can take a shot, you can do whatever you want, but just do me a favor and yell, ching, because the players are getting paid <laughs> wow. off of that camera wow, shot. Wow, that's wow. a good really insight. Good. Yeah. Speaking of insight, Brandon, I mean, you have a Super Bowl ring. Who do you think is going to win? I'm going to go with the Chiefs. You don't against the Mahomes. I love the Andy Reid story. My former defensive coordinator, Steve Spagnola, is the defensive coordinator for uh, the, the Kansas City Chiefs. I, I love the storyline when it comes to those guys and what Patrick Mahomes chasing Tom Brady. It's almost like LeBron James, how he said that he's chasing a ghost when you're talking about trying to live up to Michael Jordan's legacy. So mm. I'm going with Chiefs on this one. But at the end of the day, you guys know I'm, I, I love football. I just want to be a great game. Uh, we love you, Brandon. It was so great seeing you. Have fun this weekend, and we hope to see you soon.